Hey, yo, what's up, Chosen Ones? This is Drew Tube with another Drew Tube special, God's Chosen Vessel. I'm easing my mind, y'all. It's been a stressful day. If you're easing your mind, if you're relaxing, if, if you are chilling out, and if everything is okay, I want you to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Welcome to my channel. I have some good vibes going. I got some good music playing in the background. Everybody, I want you to just relax today. Know that God is on your side and he's going to help us get through these evil last days and times. Man, do not be discouraged by the negative people in your life that are trying to bring you down. Do not be discouraged by these evildoers because God has your back and an and, and, and unrighteous spirit and an unrighteous heart shall not inherit the kingdom of God. These people, excuse me while I take me a hit of this good green, if you know what I mean. An unrighteous heart shall not inherit the kingdom of God. These people see you toiling diligently. They see you focused on your goals. They see you making it happen. They're driving to work. You're walking to work. You're biking to work. You're Ubering to work. Even if you are driving to work, it may be your last $5 you put in your tank of gas. But I'm telling you, God has got your back and don't be discouraged. They may have only gave you two days on the schedule this week, but I'm here to tell you that God is not, God is not to be mocked. Do not be discouraged. You're, we are supposed to keep our faith in God and not keep our faith in man. Because as a chosen one, no matter how hard you try to work, no matter how no, no, no matter how nice you are, no matter how polite you are, no matter how humble you become, no matter how much ass you try to kiss, pucker up. No matter how much you try to, no matter what you do, chosen one, no matter what you do, God's chosen vessel, you are going to, they are not going to fuck with you like that. They're not going to like you like that. They're not going to take to you like that. All because they see that you have the spirit of the Lord on you. All because they see you have a good heart. All because they see your vibration is high. Don't be discouraged by the negative people and the evildoers in your life. They may be trying to, they may be trying to stop you any way they can. But don't be discouraged. Don't you give up. Because that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to give up. If you give up, they win. If you don't give up, they lose. What I learned about evildoers is this. You can't stop them from doing evil. But the most important thing is, is they can't stop us chosen ones from doing good. They can't stop us from being successful. They can't stop us from leveling up. They can't stop us from believing in God and believing in good and believing in righteousness. Because a righteous heart will inherit the kingdom of God. An unrighteous spirit and an unrighteous heart will not inherit the kingdom of God. If God be for us, who could be against us chosen ones? Do you hear what I'm saying? As this fire ass beat is in the background playing. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm the man. They do not be discouraged by these evildoers. They they have nothing, they have nothing on you. They cannot stop you from doing the good that God has put you here to do. They may not like you. They may hate you. It's to the point now where we're ignoring all the hate. In 2020, in 2022, we were observing the hate. We were talking about how it made us feel. In 2023, it's all being ignored. We don't have any time for us to be knocked off of, off of a good vibration. And, and that's why we cannot be discouraged by these evildoers. Because if we get discouraged by evildoers, we're going to be knocked off of our path. We're, we're going to dim our light. We're, are, we're not going to be shining as bright. And that's exactly what they want. And we can't give them what uh, they want because if we give them what they want, they're going to be more powerful. And they have no powerful. Negativity is weak. Positivity is strong. God is strong. The devil is weak. The devil tries to appear strong. That's why they're always constantly coming at you and always constantly trying to do evil. That's why they all that's why they're doing one attack, then another attack, then another. That's why evildoers never don't let up and they don't stop. Because they know they know their work is never done. So your work as a chosen one can never be done. You gotta you don't let up on them. 
Don't don't take your foot off of their neck. You you stand tall and you walk proud and you stick your chest out and you walk with all the armor of God because they cannot harm you. You are protected and you are never neglected. You have the spirit of the Lord on you because the evildoers will never discourage a believer of God. An evildoer can never discourage a person with a positive mindset. An evildoer could never discourage somebody who's not going to give up on life. And that's another thing. When you believe in God, when you have the spirit of God on you, you will never give up. Because you have the spirit of God on you. And that God is, God is, God don't give up. God will never stop. God is undefeated. So if you have the spirit of God in you, they may get you. They may stop you momentarily, but that's momentarily. They will never stop you continuously, wholeheartedly. They will never be able to put down a child of God because you have a righteous spirit and you have a righteous heart. And that's why you will inherit the kingdom of God. That's why the kingdom, you are, you probably already have the kingdom of God. You're probably already in it. It's, it's probably already flowing all through you. You probably have the spirit of the Lord all on you. And that's why they can't stand you. That's why they're constantly coming at you with evil works because they see your works are good. So they're hitting you. They're trying to hit you with evil works and they're trying to stop you from doing God's work. They're trying to provoke you. They're trying to upset you. They're trying to aggravate you. They want you upset because if you're aggravated and if you're upset, you're not focused on the good that God is bringing into your life. And that's why you cannot be discouraged by evildoers, because if you let the evildoer in your mind, if you let the enemy in your mind, if you let them discourage you, that's not believing in God. That's not trusting God. That's not focusing on what you're supposed to be focused on. That's not being focused. That's being distracted. You cannot be distracted out here. Because if you if you allow if you get distracted by them trying to discourage you, you will become discouraged. If you focus on all the negative things that they're trying to do to you, you will become discouraged because what you see is what you get. So if you focus on, I mean, it, it, I'm not saying you to a, I'm not saying that um, the negative stuff that they're doing isn't happening. I'm not saying to act like it's not happening. <laughs> but what I'm saying is to ignore it because to focus on it and to talk about it w- without a solution, without trying to find a, a solution or without um, moving forward or without affirming it's, uh, affirming that they're weak or without destroying it, without speaking positive over the situation, you're going to be discouraged and there's no way for you to overcome it. And there's no way for you to win. And we want you to, and this is your winning season. This is 2023. You planted positive seeds all in 2022. You play. You were you. You were positive all in 2022, and they still tried to get to you. So now it's to the point where we're not even letting it bother us because we're already hip to the games that they're playing. That's why we will not be discouraged by these evildoers in 2023 and forward. We'll never be discouraged by these evildoers. They cannot stop us, and they will never stop us because we have the spirit of the Lord on us, and that's str- the spirit of God is stronger than any evildoer. God will God will make an evildoer your footstool. He will crush an evildoer in, in, right in front of you. They think they think that little they think that little evil works have power over you. They think just because they got you upset, they won the they won the battle. They think because the, you got upset, they won. They think they're getting to you. Don't let these people get underneath your skin. What they're trying to do is they're trying to poke and poke and poke and poke until you explode. They want you to turn Super Saiyan so you lose your job. You know how many jobs I done lost behind situations, behind people that were trying to discourage me and trying to do evil works against me, a child of God, that all I wanted to do was come to work and clock in and do my job and that was it. All I wanted to do was just uh, hang out or go here or do this or do that. And the evildoers just you, because they can't stand to see a child of God, they can't stand to see someone positive. You'll have negative people who want to dim your light, who want to come out of nowhere and and try to discourage you and make you feel bad about being a good person because it's more it's more negative people than it is positive people. So they'll have you thinking that it's something wrong with you when all reality is nothing wrong with you at all. You're a positive person, so that's why I'm telling you here today to not be discouraged, positive person. Don't be discouraged, child of God. Don't be discouraged, chosen one. Don't be dis- uh, discouraged, God's chosen vessel. We're not. We're. I'm here to uplift you and let you know that uh, you, you don't have to be discouraged. You don't have to be upset. 
these, these, they can't hold you down forever. And they won't be able to hold you down forever because you have the spirit of God on you. And, and you're a good person. And a good man can never be kept down. You can't keep a good man or a good woman down. You can't. You cannot keep a righteous spirit down. They're trying to keep us down. They're trying to eliminate us. And all honesty and all reality, they want us to delete ourselves. But the thing is, that won't happen. And the more of that energy they put out, that's the energy that they're going to get back for themselves. So all you have to do is make sure you stay prayed up. When these people, when these, when these evildoers try to discourage you, make sure you go into the secret closet in your mind and you say a prayer and you, and, and you pray over your spirit and you pray for those people. You pray, to, you pray to God that that evil spirit, that wicked spirit gets eliminated in them. You pray that God will rain fire down from heaven on those evil, wicked spirits so that you can maintain your peace and that you can maintain your, your peace of mind. So that you can maintain your good vibration and your, your happiness. Because if you're a happy person you, and, and, and you're not doing anything bad or you, and you don't have any negative vibes or, or any negativity towards anybody, you shouldn't have to feel, deal with anybody else's hate. You shouldn't have to deal with anybody's jealousy or animosity or anger or envy or anything like that. So that's why it's important that we pray because what greater it is in greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You understand? Greater is the spirit of God in me that is this flesh and, and bones that's in the world. And we have the spirit of God in us. And the spirit of God is stronger than the per than the us that they see, this little the person, this right here, that they're trying to mess with, bother, uh, irritate, aggravate, provoke. God in us is way stronger than that and whatever they could try to do. And this is the message from me to you. So I want you all to stay strong. I want everybody to have a positive day, have a positive evening, continue to not be discouraged, continue to be encouraged, and continue to be prosperous and always flourish. In the name of the Lord, I say amen. Because we're we're not we're not here to do bad things, people. We're not here to do we're not here to do evil. We're here to do good. We love one another. We're here to spread love. We're here to do positive. We're here to help each other out. We're not here to do bad bad to one another. So all those people out there that try to interrupt us from our good and try to, uh, 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 what's the word, try to uh, cut us off from our good and stuff like that, to hell with them. We're going to pray against them. We're going to pray for them. And we're going to let God, we're going to let our angels deal with them. We're going to let the universe deal with them. Because we're too blessed, we're too blessed to be stressed, and we're anointed and never disappointed. This has been another Drew Two Vessel, God's chosen vessel, came to give you more and never lesser. And I want you all to have a blessed evening. Peace out, y'all.